Hey everyone, in this video we are going to go over how to do a complex, I guess it's considered a complex design. We're going to take a pattern, we're going to mask it to the feather flag template, and then from there we're going to um, cut up the template a little more. So we're going to learn how to make some cuts, um, make different um, color areas on the flag. So this tutorial I'd consider intermediate. Um, if you're a beginner, I recommend going to the beginner's video first and figuring out the basics of Adobe Illustrator. Um, it's pretty easy to get a, get a hang of, so um, just go to the beginner's video, then just hop back into this video. and Or you can just, if you feel confident, uh, just follow along to this video. So let's, let's get started. So what I did is I already downloaded a pattern that I want on these, uh, uh, on these flags. Um, so this is the pattern that we're going to be masking onto this flag design. And then we're going to do some other changes to make it into a good looking template design. Okay, so before I start, let me just briefly go over the flag uh, template that you see here. So the yellow, again, is, um, if you haven't seen other videos, it's just the real estate of um, your design space. So what are, whatever is this yellow right here is where you do your main design. This is where you put your graphics, put your text, uh, whatever you like. This is what we're going to take right here and put into print and then cut it and hem it. Okay, and then the area back here, this is just a sleeve. Again, you can choose black or white. To go to white, just go here and then click on white and boom, you have a white sleeve. Uh, very easy. Um, go back to black and this red line is your bleed line. Anything outside of this line will be clipped. Um, so anything important to you, make sure you keep it inside this red bleed line. So let's get started. So what I like doing first, if I'm planning to make cuts or a lot of changes to the template, I always make a copy of it. So just square over. The layers control c control v if you're on mac i think it's function c function v um i'm not too sure how to use mac um so let's get started so what we're going to do is this let's start with the left uh, side or the uh, f uh, or the template or the front of the flag um uh, so let me just move this aside for now okay okay so we're going we're going to copy the body that we want to mask to so that's this one and then this this is our pattern. This is what we'll be masking this uh, template to. So what what you want what you want to check for first is actually let me ungroup this so we can figure out. So if you check so we if you want to mask all this right here, uh, what you want to make sure is that they're they're grouped. So in this case they're currently not grouped. So in order to mask any, anything you want to mask, it has to be in the same group. Um, otherwise um, either this will get masked or this will get masked depending on what you have selected. So the easiest way to um, group it is just um, make a square, right click, group. So I don't know the professional words for all this stuff. So if you're a professional designer, go ahead, um, make fun of me, but I'm just, this is just for intermediate to beginners. So I'm just gonna say whatever I'm used to saying. So I apologize if I say something's wrong or you know, don't name it properly. So let's get started. Um, so this is our group. This is a pattern we want to mask to this template. So first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that this template so layer is on top. So currently you can see that the pattern is the top layer, not the flag. Um, sometimes you can right click or range, uh, bring to the front. Um, in this case, it's not working just because they're on different layers. So if I click on this, see how this is a whole different um, group of layers. And when I click on this one, it's a different one. Um, so the easiest way to do this is just control X, which just cuts this. Click on the pattern and then control V. So what this does, uh, and that layer group is going to bring it to the top. So this is perfect. So what you want to do next is, if you're pretty not sure, uh, I'm sorry, if you don't already hold down spacebar, you can move the file around, pretty much the area around wherever you like. It's very convenient. You don't have to worry about going down to the scrolling area. Okay, so let's get moving. Uh, okay, so we're here. So what you need to do first, is you need to get rid of the inside color. The easiest way is uh, click on the template then go here and make sure it's the top square and just hit this button, which is none, no color. Boom, it's gone, okay. So next, what you want to do is line it up to where you want the template to be at. So let's just say, um, I think that's good, it'll cover everything. So the hockey here that's very important is control seven. So let's control seven, okay. Let's make it so you don't forget here. So this is our masking hotkey. So th this is very important if, if you're a designer working for a print shop. I remember this if you use Adobe Illustrator, it's a very crucial hotkey. It will help you with a lot of different design layouts for live images, patterns. You're going to use this a lot. So now that we have this here, what we're going to do is select what you're going, which you want to mask to, which is 
this and what you want masked, which is this one. So the way to do this is click on this template, hold down the shift button, and then click on that group. Once this is done, hold down control, hit seven, and there we go. We now have that pattern masked to the shape of this flag. And let me just so what you can do is if you want to extend the color on this one, just keep clicking until you get to just that layer. And then you can just extend it up past the template. And now we have the whole layer right here. So this is, now we're done with this one. So let's just place it here. And then see, now we have our design. That looks pretty neat. So it looks nice. So what we also want to do is we can add, we can spice this up a little bit. Um, if you want, you can mess around with it. You know, you can move this around wherever you like. You can make the squares bigger, and then there it goes larger. So it's up to you what you want to do with them. I'll keep it as it is right now. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is now, let's say you want to add, say, add some text to it. That's pretty straightforward, right? Let's just add sale. Okay, let's do that. Let's make this bold. And then control T, bring that up, and then just bring the letters closer. Again, um, I'm not sure if I'm doing the most optimal way of doing all this. It's just the way I do it. So this is how I'm teaching it. I'm sure there are better ways of doing what I'm doing here, but I'll look into that later. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just make this white, and that looks okay. So let's add some stroke to it, uh, or a shadow drop, make that black make that way. So I've covered this in the previous video how to do this. I'm just doing a, a layout here. Let's do that. Uh, let's stroke. Let's make it yellow. All right, so that looks pretty nice. So this is nice. Uh, let's say you want to go a little bit further. So this is like a very basic layout. It doesn't really look too nice just because this pattern is pretty much it's like well, what is it doing here? It's just it's just there. I'm like hmm. uh, still don't like it too much. Okay so let's, let's make this a little a little bit of a better design. So let's grab this template. So let us make some cuts now. Okay, so let me bring this to the front. Okay, oh, it's not working here. There we go, okay. So sometimes you're gonna get this where it like it puts layers together. I'm not too sure why it does this. Uh, the easiest way to fix this is just uh, rescale this and you see how something else gets scaled with it. Once it does, I hit control Z and it'll separate the layers. Uh, I don't know why it does this. It happens all the time with this version, but that's how you get rid of it. So let us let us make some cuts. So we're going to do this. We're going to remove that layer. So let's make it like two different colors. So what you want to do, what I do is I use the knife tool here, and this is not the best way of doing it. I just, I'm just doing it for the tutorial to make it look easier for you. And what we're going to do is we're just gonna, as you can see, we already have the, template selected for that uh, flag. Click here and then just do your cut however you like. So let's make like a cut like this and then let's make another cut on top like that. You gotta be pretty steady with your mouse or anything. There, there are much better ways of doing this. Actually, let me redo that cut. Uh, actually I don't like it. Let's do it. There we go. That looks a little better. So let's just do that. The, the, this is not the best way of doing this. So now what we do is we're going, we're going to get rid of the bottom. Now we have a couple extra layers to work with on top. So just to make life easier, what we're going to do is, if I can get back to these layers, just make this one yellow, let's make this one red, just so we know what we did. So this is the cut that we made. So let me zoom in right here. So you see this? This is one of the cuts, this is the top. So what we did now is we have a layer on top of another layer. So let me move this and you see this here. So all we're doing is this is our initial masking, and then we're just uh, we did our cuts, did template, and then we're just mo moving. Let's see if I can get rid of this one. I don't know why that's there. okay. And now we're going to just put this right on top. So make sure you overlap it exactly. You don't want it like this. That's just going to make your template wrong, and your actual final print is not going to be correct. Okay. So now we have this. So this looks a bit better. Um, so let's just make this a different color. Let's make this gray. This, this is totally up to what colors you want to choose at this point. I'm just making things up as we go. Uh, let's do that one. Uh, that does not look nice to make it black. Okay. Yeah, don't really like it too much, I think. Uh, let's make this a little lighter. 
Okay, well, that looks okay. Um, the only reason I'm doing this is just to show you that you can cut, separate the layers, um, and then, you know, pretty much just spice up your design a little bit, not make it as plain and boring. So let's bring this one a little bit higher, bring it there, and do that. There we go. Okay, and then let's drop our sail right there. See? So we're going to do it. The easy way to do this is just um, cut, cut it, click on this layer, and then Control V, then it'll be the uppermost layer. So you select the highest layer, and then you just click on it, and then just paste that layer. Okay. And shadow is up to you. You can move it however you like. I like it a little bit lifted. So do it right there. That looks good. Okay, so again, it's doing that again. Let's just do that thing. Boom, it's separate. Okay, so what you can do to prevent all this is anytime you're done with something, like for instance, this back layer right here, just find it and then just lock it so you don't have to worry about like all this other stuff. So now I can't, I can't even move that layer. See, and no matter what I do, I can't move it. So I'm doing Control Z by the way, just to do on the sleeve. Let's lock that too. Uh, oh, maybe I should have my steam turned off. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it's right there, so let's lock that one too. Actually, that's not it. Um, what happened? Actually, that one is it. Let's lock that one. Okay, so now my sleeve won't move either. Okay, so let us go back to this one now. So, see, I can now select this without the worry about selecting any of this other stuff. Okay. So let's put this here. We got our sail. Oh, let's make it white. I think white looked a little better. There we go. And we're done with our design. So if you ever want to go back and just unlock the layers, just find them at the bottom, unlock them. And then to do the other side, just control C, control V. And then just what you do is you select, just square in what you want, transform and reflect. There you go. You got the other side. Just move it close together right there. And of course, I reflected this as well. And boom, back to back. Easy to do. Okay. We got sail. Sail. Oh, that looks nasty. Okay. Okay. There we go. So this, this is not a very practical design. It's just random things put together. But as, as you can see, um, what, what, what you can do a lot of neat stuff in Adobe Illustrator. The other great thing is this is not going to be a very large file. This is a very small file. You do, you do the same exact thing in Adobe Photoshop, you're going to have a file that's huge. So this is another reason um, I like Adobe Illustrator. You can work with text. Um, like simple colors, simple masking of pattern is really nice. If you have a pattern that gets too complicated where you have a lot of layers, um, Adobe Illustrator is going to lag. In that case, you want to use Photoshop. Um, let's say this was like, bunch of gradients, like hundreds of layers. Um, it's That's going to be very hard to work with in Photoshop. Your computer is going to keep freezing up. Um, but this looks nice. Something simple like this is very easy to do. So I'm going to stop rambling on. This is this was an intermediate tutorial. So we learned how to mask a pattern, which is, oh, again, as always, make sure you outline your text. One, it helps with them not getting in the way when you select layers. And two, your printer doesn't, your print, whoever you send this to print to does not need the fonts they use. So let's go over what we went into this tutorial. We did masking of this pattern to the feather flag template. We did some cuts right here, which are as this cut right here. We use a cut tool, which is a knife tool right there. Um, there's much more ways of doing this. Um, uh, I can, I'll cover in a different video of how to do, you know what, let me show you really quickly here. Another awesome thing you can do is, let's say you want to do like a pattern that's, Blue, white, let's do black. Uh, I'm going to do this. There's okay. Okay, so let's say we want to mask something like this. This is also pretty neat. Um, so again, remember you got to group them together. So let me grab this one and then bring it to the top. And let's mask this together. See, you can also do this. This gives you a much easier way. So if you find some shapes that are similar to this one, you can you can always like distort this as well. If you go effects, I'm going through this really quickly just to show you some neat things. Um, you go warp, you can um, flag this and then preview. So you can do that. Okay. And then you can move this right there. There we go. Now we have a much better um, thing here. So I mean, you can do a lot of neat stuff with masking. So just, just remember, guys, Control-7, masking hockey is going to be 
um, it's, it's the best hockey for me in Adobe, uh, Adobe Illustrator other than Control C, Control V, and Control Z. Because, you know, copy, paste, undo. Very important. But this hockey, remember it. Don't forget it. Remember, you can do a lot of neat stuff with it. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll make some more videos on doing something a little more complicated with live graphics in the future. Thanks for watching. I know I was rambling on, just talking, talking. I'm um, sorry about that. And th if you like the video, subscribe below. Uh, if you want to purchase custom feather flags, anything else, go to featherflagnation.com. Boom. We offer the lowest prices, and we are the original providers of these feather flags. Thank you. Bye-bye.